Creality announced several brand new 3D printers. In one series, I'm going to cover all about the Creality Ender 3 V3 series. Not just one printer, there is more. Stay tuned to find it out. Hey, hello Z3D pre-printing friends. This is Zagri and in this video, we are going to talk more about the Creality and the 3 V3 series. It's this brand new. It is very nice and it's cool to see how innovating Creality is the last couple of years years i need to say that i'm not so very familiar with the core xz system or core xz system because i have a creality and a six a creality k1 they are using a core xy system where the print head is moving over the x axis and z axis using two motors but how does it look like for a core xz system it's i think very obvious just take the core xy system put it on the vertical stand and you have basically the same kind of idea. The stepper motors are based on the backside of the 3D printer right after the Z axis gantry. You have that two stepper motors, two timing belts are going to the print head, but also are going to be crossed over the top section from the Z axis gantry. If you are more interested in the Core XZ system, there are many other documents that you can find online how the system works and what are the benefits of it. I think it is a great move. It's nice because this Core XY system, it is big, but now they shrink it, put it vertical so that they benefit a very quick system giving you some very high printing speeds but what are those based upon the pictures that i'm going to show you i'm going to give my thoughts and ideas about it so let's get in it so like mentioned this is the creality ender 3 v3 it is a core xz system with a printing speed of 600 millimeters per second you know it's the same print speed that you have on the creality k1 and the k1 max they are using this new core xz motion system to give you also some very high printing speeds a self-test with one tap so i believe that this is also going to be the same kind of system that you will find on the creality k1 having calibration set up so that the machine check all the things by itself before you are going to start this 3d printer is an all metal build they are using a higher quality aluminum extrusion base everything so that this machine is very rigid a new high speed direct drive extruder the new core xz motion system coordinated movement between the x and the z axis co-driven by two high torque motors for quick response so this machine is going to be very quick in the x and z axis minimal layer shift precision linear shafts just like on the k1 they are using the linear shafts so that you don't have this v slot rollers they seems to go a little bit off the size and using some other materials like linear shafts but also linear rails so this is the machine in real life they presented it during their live stream i had to screenshot it because now you can really see the backside how this motion system looks like without using 3d renders here you see the timing belts going crossed there's a one stepper motor here there's one on the other side and there's just one timing belt on each side of the printhead and this whole motion system is working very quickly this is also here this reversed bowden tube setup so the filament spool is going to be attached on this side and then goes all the way through the bowden tube right into the direct drive dual gear extruder and also seeing here that the uh, that the cable chain coming from the direct drive extruder all the way to the right hand side of the printer instead of the left side compared to, to the first creality and the three where you had all the stuff just right here on this side on the left hand side on the back side now it's all gone it's not bearing that weight anymore there a direct drive extruder which i already mentioned two model cooling fans there's a filament run out sensor in the print head so the dual gear extruder as you can see it is looking very similar like they used on the k1 and also an integrated nozzle and heat brake 300 degrees high temp printing this is an open 3d printer so you must buy an enclosure 
to put your 3D printer in if you are going for the really high temperature filaments. A 60 watt ceramic heater, 32 millimeters cubed per second flow rate. So the guy was talking about the leveling that you always had to do on your 3D printers from Creality. The newer machines came with more like a CR touch bed leveling system. Very cool, very nice, but it is what he calls tricky leveling process is in the past leveling with complex manual calibrations and then tune z offset by inputting numbers of course you don't want to have that so it's something that they want to eliminate and how do they do that they have a one tap auto leveling system not pressing two times with the nozzle against the heated bed no just one tap leveling in a more hands-free way no need to turn screws or pull a paper no need to tune the z offset this machine if you are going to say hey level the bed it is going to do it for you very nice it comes on the creality and the 3 v3 on the k a and also on the SA. This is the motion system of the Creality 2nd edition. X-axis linear rails. No rods, no feet slot rollers, linear rails. For the base, they use linear rods. No feet slot rollers there either. If you receive this machine, you don't need to use an eccentric knot to get all wheels set nicely around the uh, extrusions so that you don't have this wiggle in it anymore. This is the Creality Ender 3 V3 K1. 500 millimeters per second max printing speed, 8000 max acceleration, very cool. Self-test with one tap, X-axis linear rail, 60 watt ceramic heater, model cooling fans, on two sides so this looks a little bit a mix between the second edition and the v3 but then you know without the core xz motion system this is just a normal cartesian style printer the specs of the creality v3 250 millimeters per second max printing speed y-axis dual linear shafts worry-free auto leveling sprite direct extrusion a auto filament loading and unloading and three-step quick assembly so this is a very basic 3d printer in a very convenient style especially easy for beginners so if you are looking for a brand new 3d printer that is easy to set up and having some very nice features on it very nice so during the live stream they also talked about get rid of ringing with the g sensor i don't know where did this g stands for if you are printing in higher speeds you will get ringing sometimes it's also called ghosting because they are using input shaper you get less ringing in your models so a quick summary of the key parts so the smart functions on all of those machines so and these are the prices the v3 is 379 us dollars the ka version is 279 dollars and the basic version the second edition the sam edition is 199 us dollars go to the creality website check them all out the v3 isn't available yet it's not officially on the site therefore i have used pictures from the live stream just let me know what do you think about those three new machines from creality let me know in the comments if you made it this far in this video you are amazing if you didn't know that now you know also a special thanks for these amazing supporters of this youtube channel all names are will be mentioned here or just in front of me it doesn't matter but a great shout out to these people of the z3dp gang yes you can be also a gang member of the z3dp movement i call it the z3dp printing gang or z3dp gang they are amazing they are supporting this channel you can also join by checking the patreon link or become a youtube channel member perks are in the on the bottom you can also support this channel if you are not subscribed subscribe because almost 90 percent of the viewers are not subscribed what are you waiting for 
please hit the subscribe button if you also want to support this channel by liking this video very well appreciated thank you so much you can also share this video on other social medias thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time peace bye bye